first time I came here, I couldn't believe this was in England. Oh, it's just so painful. Sailing off from an estate in the Lake District. Who do we think we are? Oh, Will she make it the leap of faith? This is so cute. Let's get going. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go. Go on then, let's go. We are actually parked up on a campsite. We've been staying on a campsite about once a week during winter uh, just to get our electricity, empty our toilet, get some water, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, once a week we treat ourselves to a campsite. The next couple of days we're going to be driving down through the Lake District. I'm really excited. Feeling really clean, did our laundry, had a shower. We've got a list of like things we can do here in the Lake District and one of them is swimming. And it's pretty cold and grey, but yeah. should we try it? Yeah, I right. do, yeah. Cool. I think it looks really beautiful. It looks really beautiful. Cool, let's go find this swimming spot. We've arrived at our spot where we're going to start a little hike from and it's four pounds for parking which I think is quite a lot and on top of that it only accepts cash. We were 25p short, we had all our coppers and stuff and uh, luckily someone in the car park was really kind and lent us a bit of money so we could actually get our ticket. I feel like we're always scroungers. We haven't had a walk in a while have we? No, nah, it's been ages. The car park is absolutely full but everyone else seems to be walking the other direction and we are walking up this way to try and find these pools. I'm going to sit this way. Bye. I'm quite enjoying this weather. It's like a pretty moody, but not too horrible. Yeah, it's, it's it feel, the peaks keep emerging out of the mist. Yeah, it feels like it could turn quite quickly though. Perfect day for a swim. We are just following a pin that I've got on Google Maps to this place, the infinity pool. And as we get closer, the weather just seems to be getting a bit worse. The weather's definitely getting worse. <laughs> Gearing myself up mentally for a cold water dip. I'm going to try and stay in for a while today, I think. Yeah, we, we aren't, I wouldn't say we're wild swimmers. We're wild dippers. And I, I want to be able to train my body to be in for longer, but I just panic. I flail around. I breathe really fast. I like shout. But today I'm going to try the Wim Hof slow, deep breathing method. There's no one here. It's almost like other people don't think it's appropriate weather to go wild swimming <laughs> but i'm excited to have this to ourselves it's funny in this series like we've just <laughs> we've been in so many windy places i know we've done uk winter van life and we have chosen like northern points of the uk but it's yeah it's just been absolutely wild hasn't it i think we are starting to get to the point where a bit of sun would not go amiss We've left the path. This area sort of looks like where the pictures we've seen. So let's go exploring. See if we can find this infinity pool. I'm gonna just see what we see up the top. We think we might have found the location. We're not 100% sure. The, we looked at some pictures yesterday. We didn't take a screenshot and we got no signal here, so we can't double check. We don't know which one is that famous Instagram pool, but we found our ideal pool to swim in. It's nice and clear. It's not like a massive waterfall in it so it feels safer i'm not sure if we are able to convey the weather but it's like it's icy wind <laughs> it's really wet already so we may as well get even more wet and let's get swimming this is gonna be cold man Ooh, i get so nervous oh, <laughs> it's horrible it's <laughs> horrible <laughs> we're doing it we're doing it because we feel good after yeah okay we decided that we need to stay in for a bit longer than usual so we're gonna try and Staying for a few minutes. Ah! Right, no panicky shunting. Calm, calm. Okay, it's cold, it's cold. Oh, 
That is really, oh, really cold. Wow. Right. Oh. 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 Everything sounds very far away. Coming up three minutes. Oh, I gotta do a dunk. Are you gonna do a dunk? Alright then. Dunk time. Woo! It definitely gets easier. The longer you stay in. Woo! Wow! It is seriously cold. I think I'd better get out because I've been in for a while. Oh, that's cold. I just got out of water for a few seconds. I feel so good, I feel like hot. Yeah, it's a hyperthermia probably, but I feel like so warm and alive. What a buzz! I feel great! It, like every time, like this is the time I thought, why the hell are we doing this? But I feel great and it, it's every single time. I just feel fantastic. Look where we are. And we've just been swimming in this. So cool. It's a way of engaging with the landscape, but walking doesn't do. Like you're in and surrounded by the landscape. I really love it. You lose some of your senses. And I felt like it was really hard to describe, but I, I had this like, overwhelming sense I had to get out. Like, I thought I was going to be sick. <laughs> That's how cold I was. It's yeah. strange, but yeah, you just I think you just need to get used to it. Then after a while, I think I back in. This one was seriously cold, and this wind that keeps coming in. Let's get down, because this is pretty wild. Whoa, what a place. Oh, stunning. I know we're trying to make this winter series all about embracing winter, but I am starting to feel like I'm ready for some warm weather. Oh, just to heat up a little bit. Go on a walk without getting soaking wet, you know. Back to the van. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Root, vegetable and turmeric. That'd be nice. Oops. The weather's so bad. It's getting worse. What, what's the name of the place? Lingholm. Lingholm, yeah. We are now going to drive about 30, 20, 30 minutes back towards Kazakh because the reason we came to the Lake District is one of Isabel's best mates lives here, so we've come to see her. And she works at some estate uh, as a gardener, so we're going to go and see her at work. She has offered us her friend's boat to go out on the lake, but the weather's looking at really beastly, so unless it improves, quite drastically in the next 30 minutes. I think we might pass on the boat. From the short amount of time we've spent in the Lake District so far, I get the impression that it's the sort of place where it'll be pouring with rain and you go into the next valley and there's glorious sunshine. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, no. You're on camera! <laughs> this time! <laughs> this is Brian! Hello! <laughs> Well, this is going to be fun. Got a canoe ready. We left the big camera on, on the shore. We thought, let's not risk it. I'm glad we don't have the camera. <laughs> we'll chuck you this, okay? Okay, so I'm going to get in. Don't just, not frantic, just... Get in and push off. So push off a little bit like this. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay. Let's go, sailors. Woohoo! This is so much fun. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, oh. Some waves out here today. Look at us sailing off from an estate in the Lake District. Who do we think we are? Oh, 
that's the bad weather over there. Oh yeah. Let's see if that doesn't reach us. Woo! And near this little island. It's romantic, isn't it, Tom? Wait, are you gonna give me a hand or what? <laughs> you can very close to this island. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, bear with me. Oh my god, it's really swirly, baby. Woo! <laughs> wow, I wonder how deep it is. Oh, ho, ho. these are big. Whoa! Yeah, they are coming in a bit. Oh. Right, we can do this. We can make it to the island. I don't know if we can. Whoa! Oh my, Whoa. God. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so glad we don't have Oh my god, I reckon we should maybe turn back. Is your, is the stuff okay? Yeah, but like, it is. I don't know if we should be rowing out with this. That, that wave just came overboard. Yeah, I know. I think we should like maybe turn back. This is the life. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, made it onto set onto land. That was fun. It was it was actually really choppy out there. That was really fun, but like so <laughs> choppy. Well, good after that though. That was fun. Good yeah, that was fun. Up after our swim. It's been a fun little day. Um, we're just waiting for Bright to finish work, and then we're going to give her a lift home. Yeah. And then I guess we find somewhere to park up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sound like a bird? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I really want you guys to see the alpacas. I hope they're in the field. Yeah, I hope so. Oh. Look at his little feet and shaggy legs. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it can't they're support so its body. so ridiculous. <laughs> that is the funniest <laughs> animal. <laughs> <laughs> This one looks quite muscular. <laughs> I said bye to Bri, waved her off, we dropped her back home after work, and now we and Tom are going to find a park up. Um, it's getting pretty dark. Yeah. But do you know what? It's six o'clock and it's not pitch black yet, so that is that's something positive. So we've, me and Tom have been driving around and our maps does this thing all the time where it moves the pin location of where we put in on park for night. So we were driving and it didn't feel right and we ended up doing like this loop on ourselves. So we checked the map and we were going the complete opposite way. So we've just found this lay-by and we're not sure whether to stay the night here. So this is classic van life reality of when you're trying to find somewhere to sleep and you're kind of tired but you also want to make sure it's safe and it's a nice place to wake up. Life is genuinely terrible. You know what, Jess? I guess I don't live in a Morning, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day in the Lake District, and we are so excited to go exploring and get out there because we've had some bad weather recently, and it's the first day the sun is shining. Last night, we actually looked at some of the pictures from uh, the infinity pool we were trying to go and find, and we were definitely in the wrong place. We didn't need to go nearly as high up as we did, but we found a lovely pool, and I don't really mind not going to the one. I've been working on some shorts this morning. I've been, I don't even notice, but there's a few shorts on our channel now. Yeah, we're still doing our regular weekly videos, uploading on a Sunday, but then we're also just uploading extra bonus videos throughout the week that Isabel's going to be editing. <laughs> We've found a nice walk and it actually sets off from here where we are now. And this is just like a lay by on the side of the road. Ah, let's go make the most of this amazing, glorious day in the Lake District. We are hiking up there. <laughs> this just shows how gorgeous the Lake District is because this park up is just a lay-by, nothing special. Incredible, like, we're just surrounded by these huge, craggy mountains that we can go and climb. It feels really good to finally get some vitamin D. I feel like we've been severely lacking in any sunshine in the last couple of months.
Well, it's such a nice day. I'm actually going to take my jacket off. You put my bag if you want, I've got space. Get it in there, boy. Sun just brings you energy. This walk was described as a fairly difficult one on our all trails, which is the app I found it on. And it starts off pretty steep, but the scenery is beautiful and the weather, oh, so it's so good just to have a bit of sun. Wowee, so it was quite a climb to get to the top here. There was a couple of false summits along the way, but now we're at the top, we can see the ridge line that we're going to be walking along and it's really cool. We're just following this craggy ridge all the way around. The Lake District is a really cool place. I remember first time I came here, I couldn't believe this was in England and I still can't. It feels more like Rohan than anywhere else in England. So good to have a sunny day, I cannot explain. It's been so long. And just to be outside in a t-shirt, I mean, it's a little chilly, but like refreshing. Ah, oh, and this landscape, it feels good. It feels really good. We're walking all the way around this valley in a sort of horseshoe shape. So we started all the way down there and we followed this ridge up and around. And then we're following it further around here. It's just so beautiful. Will she make it the leap of faith? I don't know, I might need to run out for this. <laughs> I think I can see this going wrong. Woo! Okay, I think this is quite a nice packed lunch spot. For lunch, I've packed us a couple packs of crisps, half a peanut butter sandwich. Oh, there's peanut butter on the, <laughs> on, the uh, <laughs> on the lunch box. Gross. Okay, half a peanut butter sandwich and two bananas. Last push. Got to get up this hill. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> it's a really, really nice walk. I highly recommend it. Let's do this, final bit. We've climbed this final peak and from here it's just a walk down the hill back to the van. We were wondering about going off and doing some more adventures and trying to jam pack everything in while we're here in the Lake District but we've changed our mind. We're actually going to go find a nice park up. We need to get back to Cornwall to get our MOT and a few other things so we are heading south. <gasps> we're so close to hitting the pheasant. That pheasant flew, flew into our windscreen. Flew across the windscreen. Woo! Here we insane. go. Yeah. This looks good to me. The sun is going down and it is time for me to make some chapatis from scratch. Tom's mum gave us this fire bowl and she also gave us a chapati pan. So I'm going to try and cook some chapatis on the fire. It's a bit of a funny place because we are like on the side of the road, but it seems so like such a quiet road. I think we can have a fire just next to the van. Yeah, and it's I've like a little to... nature reserve, but I think we, is we it? keep, yeah. Oh yeah, if we just do it here, it's fine. Yeah. Um, and. I've got a little plan as well. All right, we saw a fire bowl up here. I haven't got this out for a long time, actually. So it'd be good to use it again. There we go. There she is. Fire bowl. I'm just going to freestyle the recipe and see how it goes. This is so cute. I always see people doing this on Instagram and stuff and wondered what it'd be like. So I've set up a little screen and we got our um, projector. Wow, it's really good quality out here. <laughs> We've never watched a film outside from the projector before. For dinner tonight, we have about six chapatis to cook on the fire, which I'm really excited to try. One Guinness Zero to split, <laughs> some sausages and some beans. I think me and Tom need to invest in some camping chairs 
be honest. <laughs> as comfy as this rock is, <laughs> it would be nice. This year so far we've been camping, we've also stayed in a bothy, but it's really nice to do something outside the van but then be able to sleep in the van after. Like having a little escape out into nature, have a fire outside, cook outside, but then sleep in our bed. Okay, first chapati going on. Hopefully it works. It's like a pancake, your first one's always the worst. Let's get some beans on too. Cowboy style. <laughs> Let's try this chapati. Mmm. That was such a nice evening. It's so nice to have some slightly nicer weather so we can spend an evening outside the van. And also, setting up for a projector outside works so well. I absolutely love that. Lake District has been really nice. We now have to head on further south. We will see you next week when we head into Wales. Mm -hmm.